Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is the third week of September 2020. Love and fitted message for you Aquarius. I hope you are okay. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This is for the Aquarius friends. What can I get for Aquarius? What is the message for Aquarius please? For the third week of September 2020. What is the love message? All right. Before I start, guys, I would like to thank you for coming back, for tuning in. Thank you, thank you so much for all the love, for the beautiful energy that you are giving my channel. My subscribers, shout out to all of you for uh, for your support, for everything that you do in my channel. Thank you. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And um, if you would like to further support my channel, uh, check the description box below because in there you will find the details of my Instagram account. Follow me there, please, if you're keen. Um, I post my whereabouts, my behind-the-scene activity. Check out our online store. The link is down in the description box below. Um, we are still selling the manifestation bracelet. It comes with a free shipping worldwide. Um, you will get a free reading from me. Just write down your question in the field. And then for September month, you will have a free Aura Cleanse soap for every purchase of the manifestation bracelet. And of course, um, once we send out the manifestation bracelet, we will send you a link or a, a curated digital pack that will assist you on how to activate the bracelet or the manifestation along with an exclusive access to our meditation music. All right. So that is me. Your, your card is ready. Your energy is ready. So let's start the reading. Okay. Um, so. The um, first card in your past energy, past situation is you've got in here the nine of wands in upright position, Aquarius, and you've got here the three of cups in reverse. Um, you were hoping for something to grow. Um, there is an attachment of expectation um, for the nine of wands and the three of cups. I think someone is about to return or due to return or say something, explain something towards you. You owe, this person owes you an explanation. They've gone missing or they've been aloof for quite some time now or they've been distanced with you. Um, you were kind of disappointed with the behavior of this person because it's very strange that they have detached. Um, Three of Cups, because of this attitude, because of this behavior, um... You know, the supposed to be upgrade, a level up, it has been stuck. You know, you, you're you supposed to be in a level of a commitment right now or a solid rekindling or um, you, you, you possibly have patched things up with this person now, but they keep on giving you um, an intermittent connection. Okay, it's like fasting. <laughs> This person is has an intermittent connection with you and it causes you a lot of worries and concern. You really want this person in your life. You want it to work out. But again, it's out of your control, okay? And it is giving you, sorry for the term, but some, for some of you, it's driving you mad. You know, it's driving you crazy to think that, okay, they're going to be back again. They're going to pop in again and you're going to start all over again. So this is a rep repetitive cycle where, like the Nine of Swords, I know you like me, I know you love me. Why can't you just commit and be steady, be, you know, be consistent? That's what you want because you're all in for this. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. There's a lot of hopes and I honestly feel like you and your person, if things were really consistent, you will, you know, go. you will go a long way. Um, I guess in a more, um, as a reader, as a person who is external of you and your situationship, um, the, the, the only benefit of the doubt I could give to your person's energy is that you're more ready, they're not. So it's, 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 um, it's a plain and simple, they want you, they like you, you make them happy, but I'm not, but, but they're not ready for commitment and you are. And so you ended up feeling nine of swords. Why am I feeling like I'm the only one who's doing all the work? Why am I feeling like I'm the only one who's wanting a solid commitment, something that you can um, call on your own like this is my boyfriend this is my girlfriend 
like officially we're back together or this relationship is mine it's mine to to own you know so yeah i mean th that's not a bad um you know it's 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 um it's every woman and man's dream to have, you know, someone beside them that they can call in their own. It's just so happened that the person who you are interacting, interacting or connected with is, um, I'd say they're not ready for that yet. Okay. And then um, going on, moving on to a more current present energy, you've got the Knight of Swords. So for some of you, you're chasing this person, you're calling them, you're texting them, you're sending them a follow-up. You thought like this person has received your call, your text messages. They've seen your text messages, your call. Um, you know, Knight of Swords, you're trying to really, for some of you, reconcile or to, to be updated with whatever they're doing, okay? For you, communication is the key to make it work you've done your part knight of swords okay um you've chased them you've called them you showed them the attention that um that is needed for them to think that you like them or you're interested with them okay it's more of you've done the deal you've you've done the deed everything that um everything that you've you've shown um you sent out all of the energy that you give away to this person in this situation it has been received okay it's been used for some of you it's been taken advantage of unfortunately um your person's energy is the nine sorry the empress card in reverse this person they have an ideal situation okay um this is this empress card this is um birth this is charming this is abundance this is fertility this is a due date for this this is a culmination but it's in reverse so no matter what you give in or effort you put through to your situation ship to your person that is not enough because they have an ideal situation to commit to be there for you um this person, like the Four of Pentacles in reverse you could be dealing with a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo this is now your mutual energy um, they don't, they don't want, if most, especially if you are a, a female Aquarius, um, this situation is that it's very masculine. Okay. They want to take charge. They want to take things in, in their, you know, they want to take charge. They don't want to be overtaken. They don't want to be put in rush because they feel you want an outcome. You're in rush. This person is smart enough that they know that you are in rush in you're after an outcome okay they know they are aware of that um i'm gonna get another cards for you yeah you're dealing with a very mature person very expert in their field of work in life the magician and the devil card when this person commits they will really commit okay but right now they are aware the death card in reverse it is not the time for them to commit if you ask if they want love and charming and affection and emotions, yep, they're all in for that. But it would, when it comes to ex exclusivity and commitment, not yet there, you know. I'm also hearing the word respectful, okay? Because for some of you, you expect this person can really offer you magic, sincerity, structure. You know, they, they want structure. They want really all of it when it comes to commitment the death card however they're not prepared for this this is this person is all all or nothing okay for some of you you're special to this person okay love is special to them you are special to them but to commit is not yet there because it's going to consume their world you know it's it's going to occupy their world they will revolt you know, perhaps for some of you, I get the feeling that this person in the past, they've been hurt, they've been, you know, there's some, some, some sort of tiresome energy. When they think of love, sorry, love is good, charming, flirting, they're in for that, okay? Once you and them are fully charged of your flirting, your, you know, your stories, your connecting, your catching up, um, the seriousness of the matter where you need to be exclusive, this is where they kind of detach or they kind of pull away all right um this person they have this past situation where it drains them so this person is still recharging if they love they really love 
I don't know how long you will wait, but I felt like this person up until November time, the energy would be like this. So if you got someone new or if you know how to keep yourself busy, you know, meditate, you know, self-love, self-care, that will assist you with keeping yourself busy and will remove you from, you know, the Knight of Swords energy, chasing, chasing, waiting and waiting. Okay, because you're ready. They're not. Um, I see this person be fully, fully available for love and commitment. Well, they're available for love, but they don't want to commit. Okay. They're, this person is an emperor. Very structured. They're also building something. So check out there. Because look at this emperor. He he is holding on something. So they're building something. Um, they're building of a structure in their life. For some of you, I get that by March of next year, if they're still around and you're single, ready to mingle, and so they are expect them to commit towards you okay but that's a long run so don't get stuck with that if you have someone you go for it you know keep you know keep fishing you know um keep this person at bay because i really feel like they're a good friend for some of you guys it's just more of you aquarius who's causing your expectation unmet expectation just go with the flow okay so that you don't get stressed um in the immediate future seven of pentacles uh, this person thinks that you're worth and a fun investment. So if you feel like they have not, because for some of you, I get that if they don't reply, if they don't respond, you send them a message or, or you send them an email of goodbye or you're not in for this. You're never exclusive in the first place. So there's no point of saying goodbye into something that you're never really exclusive. So be watchful of what you say um yeah really expectation sometimes is the root of all evil so detach on that kind of behavior and attitude because this person thinks that you're worth investing you're worth winning but when it comes to commitment they only have a three of pentacles and it's still in reverse so i'd suggest okay um they need more structure they need more time you'll get more agitated if you expect if, if you put an expectation it's not it's not um it's not met okay um i'll get one more card yeah the wheel of fortune relax focus on yourself focus on life and if there's other options go with it don't be, don't get stuck with this person there is a lot of fish in the sea i see a letter r a letter t a letter a and o for some of you you would still meet another two person up until the end of this year so don't get stuck with this although i know you want this so badly because of their energy their passion and their sense of this person go you know this person has like you, you you've got i mean i felt like you submitted your heart already with this person but you've got another two person that you can meet at the end of this year so don't get stuck okay so this is you thank you aquarius thanks for tuning in thanks for being here i'll see you soon and take care bye bye